Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video we're talking about a few different things, but in the background you're going to be seeing an actual metric butt ton of sexy Sturm and Drang plays that are made today live on stream while playing Gunslinger. So, I hope you enjoyed those clips. And uh, before we get cranking on the gameplay oriented commentary, I, I, uh, I wanted to just let you know real quick that if you and a teammate want to challenge us, myself and Rhythm, you know, on Twitch, uh, we'll be doing 2v2s against challenging duos live on stream Monday from 10 a.m. Eastern Time through 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Five straight hours of scrimmages against challengers. So if you and a friend are interested in signing up for a time slot uh, to take us on, uh, I'll leave a link in the pinned comment to a Google document where you can put your PSNs in a time slot for the stream. I look forward to playing against many of you talented gamers in our community. Now... Uh, let's chat about the Crucible a bit here. You know, I, I get all these people in my comment sections because, um, like I said, I've said many times, I read all my comments, and uh, that is sometimes a tall order. Some videos have 2,000, 3,000 comments. Others have 200. It depends on how interesting I was, and sometimes I'm not very interesting. Other times I, I apparently am. So, uh, But I do read all those comments, and uh, I get people in my comment section who, who say stuff like, man, TV, I would kill for your lobbies. No one even shoots back. I get all sweaty players all the time with zero exceptions when I play. Um, you know, I, I don't say this to be arrogant or anything, but uh, quite frankly, most of the people saying stuff like that would not last 30 seconds in my lobbies. Uh, due to skillless matchmaking and all playlists, um, even even in the classic mix environment, I, I get the most try-hard lobbies, especially this season. I mean, I get these people in my lobbies with tens of thousands of kills on their shotguns, their air and tills, their not-forgottens. And, uh, you know, my, my last match on stream today, for example, had 51 shotgun kills. I kid you not, I pulled up the post-game report online on stream, and we counted... The number of final blows in this particular clash match, and it was 51 total shotgun kills. It, it, it's absurd, and this is this is the normal for me in my lobbies these days. This is absolutely standard at this point, and it has made this season the least interesting Crucible season to date for me. Now, I, I want to go on record and say that I do not blame players for choosing the path of least resistance. Right? I don't blame players for leveraging the easiest and most effective items in the sandbox. If it's going to mean that they put up better numbers and have more fun, that's fine. You know, I I may toss a little casual trash talk down in the moment, but you know that, that that's gaming, right? <laughs> that's that's game. Rubbin's racing. And at the end of the day, I think Bungie needs to be they need to be fast to react to trends and imbalances and find creative ways of keeping things in the crucible landscape fresh and exciting. And I know a lot of people, especially right now, are a little bit upset about the you know, the lack of Crucible-oriented content in the coming season. We're now looking at uh, another stretch of, of a couple of months where we will not have any real changes to uh, Crucible, to, as far as we know, right? The only changes are going to be the, uh, the solar subclass changes. Now, I, I do think that those are going to shake things up quite a bit. But uh, outside of that, I mean, we get we get uh, Rusted Lands back, which is pretty cool. Uh, I am excited to get Rusted Lands back because I was always a fan of that map. Uh, we haven't seen any other new maps that might be slated to drop during this season. Uh, we do know that the Elimination Playlist is going to be a regular thing now, not just uh, in Crucible Labs, but it will be its own uh, standalone entity now. And uh, But all that aside, right now I, I'm, I'm not that excited about having the same engagement copy-pasted over and over again in terms of gunplay. You know, and I'm sympathetic to the fact that there's always going to be a meta, and those metas will shift from time to time. But, <laughs> for example, m most viewers click off of a YouTube video within three minutes if they feel like they got the gist of the content. With attention spans like that, how can we as players be expected to be excited about a crucible landscape that has remained largely unchanged from engagement to engagement for the last 12 months? The things that were meta 12 months ago are meta today. This used to be most prominent in the comp playlist, but with the recent changes to the matchmaking systems with Shadow Keeps drop and the crucible playlist setups, the meta is in full force no matter what environment you choose to queue into unless you're playing Scorched or momentum control, 
you know, one of those playlists is funny for a couple of matches, and the other has its own unique, boring meta, in my opinion. I know some people love momentum control, and I'm glad that they do, uh, but to me, it is very uninteresting. Uh, I, f I find that it's it doesn't matter what map you're on, what lobby you're in, it's the same thing over and over and over again, and, and I lost interest pretty quickly. I know some people really like it, and that's great. I don't. Uh, but my biggest hopes for the next season are that the Crucible landscape will be dramatically affected by the subclass tuning. And that sometime in the next few months, we'll see adjustments to the playlist setup and the weapon meta. Uh, for Just off the top of my head, uh, in my opinion, Aaron Till, for example, and Wise and Rebuke, uh, they need to have backup plan removed from their perk pool so that there is actually some risk and reward. Because right now, there's no risk and reward. Like It's not like a trade-off. Most, uh, you know, all other weapon archetypes, if you're going to go with something that's going to hit really hard, you're sacrificing a uh, rate of fire. And so it's this, you know, this ebb and flow, this balance that keeps things in check. And Aaron, until Wise and Rebuke, they get to throw that balance out the window. There's no risk and reward anymore. It's all reward. You can have the hardest hitting thing that actually fires faster than the fastest firing archetype in the game. Not once, but twice. You can get two shots off. So I think that a backup plan needs to be removed from high impact fusion rifles altogether. It should not roll on high impact fusions, in my opinion. Uh, they also should probably be given a range cap if they're going to remain hit scan like they are right now, as opposed to having uh, you know travel time like they did in Destiny One. Uh, one Eyed Mask, in my opinion, needs to have its nerf rethought, as the free information and wall hacks are the primary points of concern, not really the overshield. Uh, we may also want to find new creative ways of directly improving the performance of shotgun counters. You know, people love their shotguns, and I get that. So I'm not really on the, the nerf train for shotties. But I think that we can take a good look at the things that may be direct counters to shotguns and find uh, ways of improving their consistency and lethality. I think that uh, the throwing hammer buff and the throwing knife buff on six shooter, uh, as well as the new melee ability for the Dawnblade Tomb in the Sky, I think these will be great uh, shotgun counters. But uh, improving the consistency of sidearms as well might be a welcome change. Uh, too. But I'm also curious, are, are my experiences skewed? Has the existence of skill-based matchmaking and lobby balancing created for me a different environment than the one that you and other players are experiencing? I mean, I, I understand very well that since I play this game a ridiculous amount, uh, my stats are pretty astronomical. As someone who literally invests his work hours into creating content for this game, I play a ton. And that means that I get lots of practice, and I'm regularly improving and growing. And because of that, my skill-based matchmaking is not kind to me. The lobbies I get put into are often very intense. Uh, but maybe that's not the norm for you. Maybe that's the exception to the rule. And I'm genuinely curious. It would be really helpful for me if you could maybe ballpark your own individual skill on a 1 to 10 scale for me uh, in a comment down below. And then say how accurate my assessment is in your lobbies. For example, you could say something like, Hey, I'm about a 6 out of 10 in terms of skill in the Crucible, and I totally get lobbies like this from time to time, but usually it's pretty relaxed right now for me, and Crucible's never been better. Skill-based matchmaking keeps most of the sweaties out of my lobby, and I'm enjoying myself a lot more these days. You could say that. That would be a totally fair assessment, and I'd love to hear what all of you think. Is Crucible getting repetitive to you in your games? Or is it largely meta users? Or is there a healthy amount of variety for you? Please let me know. I would uh, love to hear your take on the current climate of the Crucible. Um, another thing I'd say, we're, uh, if, you, if you haven't heard, I'm on uh, Facebook Gaming now. And that's where my community exists. And um, we have a, a private community over there called The Frontlines. And that's uh, my community of supporters. So I, I've never done a Patreon or anything like that. Uh, instead, what we do is uh, it's just the, the support button there on Facebook. And the thing about that is uh, a lot of people are like anti-Facebook. But the $5 support over there is not like Twitch. Twitch takes a cut. Um, Facebook does not. So if you choose to support me and you hit that support button on Facebook, uh, you're supporting me more than you would for the same amount of money on Twitch. Um, and Facebook does not get a cut, so you're not supporting them directly. So it's a great way to... Um, support me and my content. Also, you get access to our Frontlines community 
and um, we have a private group on Facebook for those people. And they have great conversations there. We have daily conversation threads. People post their clips. I do. I'm starting like a clip of the week thing where I'll take clips that are submitted in that group and feature them live on stream multiple times throughout the week. So lots of fun stuff. Um, also remember what I said at the beginning of the video about the rhythm, streaming and rhythm, taking on challengers in 2v2s. Uh, make sure you check the pinned comment for the link to the Google document where you can put your PSNs in. If a uh, time slot is already taken by a couple of people, uh, please do not try and edit over them. If it's taken, it's taken. Don't touch it. Um, yeah, well, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I hope that you will be warm and well-fed, and I uh, hope to catch you in the Crucible. Bye-bye. The twilight gap where Lord Shaq earned his name. None fell more. Captured. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. 